Broadband Low Disturbance Proton Magnetometer Operation Video The standard configuration of Broadband Low Disturbance Proton Magnetometer is A set of host, probe, probe rod, instrument packing box, accessories and software. When in use, assemble the probe rod. Install the probe on the probe rod. And then connect the probe with the host to measure. Before measurement, set parameters first. On the menu page, move the cursor to set parameters, and click OK to start setting. The instrument number is used to distinguish other similar instruments. The measuring area code indicates the number or name of the measuring area, and the operator indicates the number or code of the person operating the instrument. Direction refers to the direction of the survey line. The unit is degrees. It is calculated clockwise with true north is zero degrees. For example, due east is 90 degrees, and so on. The input range is 0 to 360 degrees. Line distance refers to the distance between survey lines. Point distance refers to the distance between measuring points arranged on a survey line. There are two modes of harmonic matching, auto mode and lock mode. You can press the O key to switch between auto and lock. Auto mode will automatically track and tune internally according to the currently measured field value. Lock mode is mainly used to obtain readings with good repeatability through manual harmonic matching when the geomagnetic gradient changes greatly. There are two modes of measurement, auto mode and manual mode. Press the zero number key to switch. Auto mode is usually used for fixed point daily variation observation. Manual mode is used for running point measurement in the measuring area. Preset the field. According to the changes of the total geomagnetic field in different regions, initially set a field value for the internal tuning of the instrument, such as 48,000 NT in Shanghai. Time period. When used in auto daily change mode, it controls the number of times the instrument reads every second. Manual is meaningless in single point mode. After setting, click OK to return to the menu page. Before measurement, create a new measurement file. Press OK to enter and name the line file with numbers. The range of auto mode measurement file number is 0 to 7. The manual mode file number is 8 to 499. Enter the measurement point increment. Click OK after setting, and enter the measurement page. Start the measurement. Mark the measuring points at the site to be measured. Pull the tape measure, and mark each point. We first come to the first point. The probe rod contacts the ground, and the probe is perpendicular to the sideline. Click the host measurement button to get the measurement data. Move the cursor to the save position, and click OK to save. Then the data of the first point can be collected. Then we move to the second point. Click the measurement button of the host to measure the data of the second point. By analogy, the data collection of the whole survey line can be completed. The second survey line is operated in the same way. Pull the tape measure, mark the points, and collect the data of each point in turn.
and so on. Complete the measurement of multiple lines. After all measurements are completed, insert the USB flash disk and export the data. Return to the main page, move the cursor to the file transfer position, select the file type to be transferred, enter the file name, and click OK to export the file data. Using professional computer software, you can draw a map and analyze the ground conditions. Matters needing attention. 1. When measuring each point, be sure to select Save, and then move to the next point to continue the measurement. 2. The direction of the probe shall be consistent at each measuring point. 3. During measurement, the operator shall not carry magnetic substances, such as mobile phone, key, etc.